Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're talking about why psychology is a science. Now, before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Sci vs. Sci. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about why psychology is a science. Well, first we have to define what we mean by science because there's two different ways to look at it. The first way is science as a process, meaning the process that you use to make scientific progress and discoveries. In other words, the scientific method. The scientific method sounds big and complicated, but really, Practical people do it all the time. Using the scientific method just means using what you know to make a prediction and then testing it out. We all do this all the time. So say you go out to your car and it won't start. Well, you know that when you were sitting in traffic for a long time yesterday, and you can probably make a prediction that you're out of gas. You can test it out. Just add more gasoline, see if the car starts. Use what you know, make a prediction, test it out. The other way to think about science is science as a body of knowledge. In order for the scientific method to work, you have to use what you know. As a scientist, you can rely on the discoveries and observations of the scientists who came before you. So if you're, say, a medical doctor, you have to know about blood circulation. You can rely on the doctors who studied blood circulation all the way back until you get to Ibn al-Nafis, who first discovered that blood circulates throughout the entire human body. Use what you know to figure out what happens next. Psychology is a science both of these ways. Psychologists use the scientific method to measure and quantify human behaviors and attitudes. We also build on the knowledge of scientists who came before us. We publish scientific articles that go through peer review processes to be published in journals available for all scientists to read. Now, a lot of people share a misconception that psychology is not a science. Instead, they'll classify psychology as a philosophy or a social science. Let's take a minute to dispel those myths. First, why is psychology not a philosophy? Well, philosophers study the fundamental nature of reality and existence. According to the American Psychological Association, psychology is the scientific study of the mind and behavior, and science has to be measurable and quantifiable. Psychologists measure and quantify your neurological processes and your observable behaviors. Since psychologists can't measure the fundamental nature of reality and existence, we don't study it. Psychologists are not philosophers. Now, let's take a look at why psychology is not a social science. Social scientists study human society and social relationships. Social scientists are scientists. They do measure and quantify. There's even a specific discipline of psychology called social psychology that might venture into this territory. However, there's a really big important distinction. Social scientists study how groups of people interact and the influences that they have. Some examples of social scientists would be like an economist who's studying the buying behavior of a population, or a political scientist who study the demographics of a certain voting population or an anthropologist who studies the group cultural practices of ancient peoples. Overwhelmingly, psychologists study the behavior of specific individuals. Psychology is not a social science because we study the individual, not the group. So then, what is psychology? Psychology is a life science. Life scientists study living organisms, whether they're microorganisms or plants or animals, yes, even human animals. <laughs> Experimental psychologists study the human brain, biological responses, behaviors. Psychologists have clearly defined terminology and highly controlled experimental conditions. Psychologists must produce quantifiable and replicable data, and they use the scientific method to ensure that their experiments are testable and replicable. So, why did people start thinking that psychology isn't a science? Probably because of our own hubris. Every human wants to think that they are special, that they're unique, and in their own way, completely unpredictable. 
when someone comes along and begins to make predictions about what you'll do based on your previous behavior, they may seem arrogant or maybe just plain wrong. This big misconception that humans are all so special and unique that our behavior can't be predicted has become a major obstacle in the study of psychology. You'll actually even find psychologists who call themselves by other buzzwordy terms like neuroscientist or cognitive scientist to avoid the derogatory way that most people perceive psychologists. I choose to embrace and reclaim that term psychologist because I understand what being a psychologist and a scientist is really all about. And that's why your Psy vs. Psy team is here to prevent misunderstanding and bias and show you what psychology is really all about. So if you want to see our latest Psy vs. Psy videos and learn more about what psychology is, check it out right over here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. And until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.